Hey, it's Dylan Moore, IT support specialist here at Jackson County REMC. Today we're going to talk about the U6 routers that are placed in some of your houses during our fiber install. Um, today we'll be most importantly going over the light section on the front of the U6 and the ports uh, on the back of the U6. Um, if you have a U6 router, here is what your combo is going to look like. You're going to have a little black box or an 803 that sits on top, and then you're going to have your U6 router that is located on the bottom. Um, on the front of the U6 itself, you'll notice that this little clear section right here um, will have a light in it. Um, that light is going to be solid green, um, solid red or blinking red, or solid yellow or blinking yellow. If that light is red, and that means that that router is offline or not passing traffic, um, so at that point you should call us in here so we can do some troubleshooting over the phone with you to see exactly what's going on. Um, if the light is solid green, and that means that that router is online, it's passing traffic fine, and you should have internet service at that point. If the router ever starts blinking a yellow light or a solid yellow light comes on, that means that router is pushing an update. Um, our routers update themselves normally, um, so you occasionally could see that yellow light. Once it's done updating, that light will go back green and the update will be taken care of for you at that point. Uh, moving on to the back of the U6 routers. Um, very, very common to the U6X router. Um, that you might have seen the video on. At the top, you're gonna have the WPS button or Wi-Fi protected setup. You're gonna have the red reset button that you have to use a paperclip with. Um, should never have to use that unless you call in here and we tell you to hard reset your router, which we would explain how to do that over the phone with you. You're going to have two phone ports up top, which with the U6, you will not use those phone ports for any reason. You will also have four ethernet ports on the back of here. They are available to you to use for whatever your purposes are. You're gonna have a WAN port, which is going to be used, and I'll explain that here in just a few seconds. You're gonna have a USB port, which is for no use um, other than if the field technician needed to push an update via USB. Um, at the bottom of the U6, you're also going to have two power plugs. Uh, the one that's used on the U6 is going to be the circle one at the very bottom. On top of the U6 router, you will also have this 803. Um, what this 803 does is it basically converts our fiber or, that comes into the back of here, converts it into Ethernet cable. Um, Ethernet cable is then in return what feeds the U6 router. So a lot of times this little black box will be sitting on top of your router and you will notice that the fiber comes in the back to the green port here. Um, you'll have a power plug that plugs in next to that. Um, if you have our home phone service, this is where that port would get utilized, where it says phone. You would plug your phone into the little black box um, on top or the 803. Then you have the yellow port, which is the ethernet port, as I said, that feeds the U6 router. Um, that is the list of ports on the back of the U6 routers.